will record. Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Avalance, and welcome to a unboxing. This is the first time I'm doing it on the live stream, so everyone from the live stream say hello. Uh, but I'm actually doing this on the live stream this time, so that's why you have the fancy parchment thing. But this is Black Flag. This is the collector's edition, which was retailing at $129.99 US, uh, so $130. Bucks. We're going to open up, see what's inside, and see if it's worth it. So let's go ahead and get started. My handy dandy pocket knife. What up? It looks like they actually did uh, the same thing they did with AC3, you know, with the uh, little sleeve we got here. So let's go ahead and cut that open. And up. Oh, did they do the bottom as well? They did the bottom as well. Those sneaky bastards. All right. I'm hoping this statue is awesome enough to put on my shelf back there next to uh, Connor. Hopefully more awesome, to be honest with you. All right. So sleeve off. For those of you who wanted to see the back of the sleeve, there you go. Unite under the black flag. Piracy. The pirate game we deserve. All right. This is a box. Pretty cut and dry. Just pirate symbols. And on the back, that's actually a really nice photo. Um, I kind of want to preserve this box now. So let's, uh, let's see if I can preserve this box. I hope it's big enough. Chat room's making sex jokes. Oh, man. Okay. So... Black Flag Buccaneer Edition. For those of you who are not familiar with how to put together a non-movable statue, there's directions. Um, all right, I'll ask chat room. Statue first or statue last? What What do you guys think? I don't know. We, we could do one or the other. Statue first or last? Make it a, make it a little interactive. <laughs> last? Okay. First. Oh. You you were a little late on that one, Loveland. So we're gonna we're gonna do it last. All right. So. Wow, that statue looks really hot. Just saying, almost as good as you, Loveland. Almost as good as you. All right. So, let me move my. I have a rolly table. It's the it's the best unboxing invention ever for YouTube. Okay. We are gonna do the statue last because you voted. So here is the opening piece right here. Um, you have the art book right here, which is all shiny and silver. And then the steel book right here. I like the steel book. And then we have the flag. Let's go ahead and get the flag out here. All right. So this is the flag. I have all the previous Assassin's Creed flags over my bedroom. So this is going to go above my bed. My girlfriend's never liked my nerdy stuff. You have all the Assassin's Creed flags over your bed. Yes, I do. If that's a problem, you can get out. Okay. Flag. Check. So let's go ahead and take a peek at this thing. Uh, the material, you know, it's what you'd expect. It's like a flag you'd purchase at Walmart, so to speak. Uh, but it is custom. So. It's a giant-ass flag. There you guys go. That is... The flag, it's kind of hard to fit in the screen, but uh, flag, giant flag, there you go. So that's the flag that's going to go on my wall. Oh, I love it. I love this flag. So flag, um, for, for sake of time, I'm just going to throw it back there. Uh, it's going to get dog hair all over it, but whatever. So next up. We got the steel book. This is the steel book for the game. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's absolutely gorgeous. Loveland, I don't know why someone would have a problem with the flag over my bed. That's why they're my ex. Here's the steel book. Gorgeous steel book, by the way. This is actually one of my favorites. So you have the front there. Again, sorry about the reflection. Not much I can do. It's just my monitor. The back. That is a nice steel case. I like that steel case. Um, that's awesome. So in the steel case, it looks like we have, you have a, you play passport as usual, because that's that code is mine. We get exclusive content as well, uh, including the pirates bounty pack with German repairs, uh, a compass, golden scimitars, treasure hunter costume, a black Island missing and the black ship and other treasures. That's the black sails. Um, and then we have the manual. Thank God. You know, Ubisoft, you know, I, I love them. 
I can't remember the last time, I don't know about you guys, I got a real soundtrack with my video game. That's real. That's that's actually a soundtrack disc that I can put in my car because I'm old school and don't have an iPod. So we have a uh, we have a real soundtrack. It's an actual disc. That's awesome. And then disc one for the game and disc two. It looks like they are not install discs like Grand Theft Auto was. So I suppose we'll just swap out at a point. Um, that's acceptable. But yeah, that's the steel case. That is a sick looking steel case. I don't know about you guys, but that's that's a sick looking steel case. So let's go ahead and put everything back in here. Um, I of course will take out the game and put it in my Xbox so we can start installing for when we hop on here in a minute. Uh, oh, I just said Xbox and my connect went stupid. No connect. All right. So the game is in the Xbox installing now. Um, and then it looks like we have the art book left here before we get to the good stuff. So here is the art book. Ditch that. Uh, a little smaller than I would have liked. I personally prefer the big art books, but there's that. I love the, the silver on there, the front and the back. And then we'll take a peek at some of the pages in here. The quality, of course, won't be as good as I would like, but I, I always love looking at art for the games. So um, here we have Kenway and the weapons. Showcase that. Really, really good looking, actually. Uh, what else we got? Blackbeard. That's actually really sick as well. So there's Blackbeard. Um... How many gigabits is in the hard drive? I have a 250 gig, bro. So, I'm good. I'm good. And then, uh, that's that's a nice one as well. I typically just show a few images. If you guys are interested in the full art book, let me know, and I will do a photo slideshow of every page on YouTube. Uh, but there you guys go. So there's the unboxing. I, I love concept art too, Loveland. That's a big thing for me. So, I, I'm really happy to do that. All right. So, uh, now for the fun part. Let me go ahead... Now you're ready to send them in. I'm gonna put this in my rack. <laughs> my rack. What up? Uh, so art book goes back in there. I I think I think it was supposed to go in there. Aha! It goes that way. Uh, flag I'll hang up. So that's done. All right. Statue time. For those of you who said first, it is uh is done. That is a much higher quality statue than the Connor one. Um, that's, that's pretty gorgeous, actually. Okay, let's get it out here. <laughs> I'm a big fan of statues. I love collecting these things, so let's get them out. Ah, they did the stupid twisty ties. Son of a bitch. I remember back in the 90s when I bought Star Wars figures and you didn't have the stupid twisty ties. It was the best thing ever. So frustrating. Okay. So we got the cutlass. Nothing too fancy. It's just a sword. Um, and then it looks like I'm going to have to do some digging. Good thing I have a military knife. And... Wow. Wow. Maybe I need to sharpen my military knife. Yep, definitely need to sharpen it. Holy crap. That or those twist ties have gotten a little more hardcore than last year's. Um, yes, interested? All right, Loveland. Just for you, girl. Just for you. Let me get all these twist ties off. All right. Sorry, guys. This is an art. If you're better at twist tying than I am, kudos to you. Right? Dude, I used to get G.I. Joe's all the time when I was a kid. Drove me nuts. The damn twisty ties. Always getting in the way. And then, you know, you'd get all upset and your parents would be like, Oh, it's, uh... It's just to, you know, prevent theft. And you're like, oh, that's okay, because theft is bad. And then you didn't care five minutes later when you were still on doing twisty ties. Ugh. This is going to be a challenge, guys. Um, so here we have the base and the flag, it looks like. Let me get that out. Okay. So there's, there's the flag. That's actually really nice looking. I dig it. Okay. And then... 
this, I assume, is the base of the statue. Twisty ties have evolved. It's like Pokemon. Huh? Your twisty ties have evolved into twister ties. Mind melding twister ties. All right, so that's the base right there. Very nice. This this seems a little more detailed than, than the Connor one. Uh, I think it's because it's done by McFarlane Toys, so that's good. Uh, and then just the uh, just the pole, bottom of the pole there. Uh, then we also have. Oh my God, real rope? What? Real rope? This is like Christmas. Meh. <laughs> Abby can't break tape. There we go. Alrighty. Real rope. I. Look at that. Real rope. That's wild. Okay. Real rope. Check. All right. Now to get Kenway out of here. This this statue's gorgeous, guys. Seriously. Now you're ready to sail in the home. Check this out. This is awesome looking. That is a lot nicer than the Connor statue. I got to tell you. I mean, the detail at points, okay. But uh, overall, for a video game collector statue, that's not bad. Um, you know those instructions I made fun of at the beginning of this? I'm totally going to look at them. Okay. Now you're ready to sail in a Okay. Cutlass in hand. And then it looks like... Yeah, okay. I got this. Psh. I did Legos for 13 years. I got this. Uh, I think I got this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I totally got this. Just saying. Just saying. No one look. Keep yourself entertained while I uh, fumble around with this flag. Mm. This is a very solid statue, I gotta admit. Yeah. So, uh, Nick's a little weak today. No worries. Oh, that's because there's notches. Oops. Wow. This is actually quite challenging. Am I fitting the notches? This is embarrassing. This is live on the internet right now. Okay. <laughs> Notches, right there. Don't spin the flag, Nick. You know what? I'm just gonna figure this out later. Ouch, Loveland. You know me. It's like lock picking. It's my worst enemy. Okay, so the flag goes to. Okay, so it goes like that. Alrighty, and then Kenway in the base. Totally put the flag backwards. Yeah, this is the part on YouTube that I would totally edit out. <laughs> this is exactly because it'd just be like, click, and this is the statue. That's, that's, you're, you're exactly right, my friend. You're exactly right. This is, this is definitely the part on YouTube that you do not see. Alrighty. Video editing was made for a reason, everybody. Pro tip. You know, how, how do I get it in his hand? Because the hand's closed. I need, like, a needle. 
This is like cosplay. Five days later is probably... Oh, I got it! Land her, mateish. All right, got it. Boom! Evie, the pro statue maker. There you guys go. That is wicked awesome. Much better than the uh, Connor one from AC3. So the rope's actually real. It's twine. Um, then the base clicks in double, which is hard to get in because there were pivots. But that's... That's gorgeous. That's awesome. Right? I'm actually really happy I ended up picking up this collector's. That is a gorgeous statue. And there we go, guys. So that is going to be the unboxing for Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Uh, my controller is not plugged in. Great. I'll do that later. Um, so there you guys go. That's the first live stream unboxing I've done. Um, side by side? Yeah, sure. Why not? I've already I've already taken YouTube's time before, so let's let's do this. <laughs> Alrighty. You want a side by side? Oh, uh, I should probably do it this way. Kenway is about one third bigger than Connor. So that's Connor right there. That's Kenway. So a little, a little more higher quality on Kenway versus Connor. Um, in the size, Kenway is a lot larger. Like I said, probably about one-third larger than Connor. So there you guys go. But yeah, so that is the collector's edition of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. For those of you who watched on the live stream, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um... And be sure, if you guys are watching on YouTube, to like this video. Also, toss me a comment. Tell me what you thought of my statue building skills. They're obviously not up to par. I must practice, practice, practice tomorrow. And all that fancy jazz. So thank you guys very much for watching. And if you're up for more Assassin's Creed 4 content on YouTube, please feel free to subscribe to me. And if you're not in the stream tonight, you obviously should be. So be sure to drop in to www.twitch.tv backslash surveillance TV throughout the week for Assassin's Creed live streaming and coverage here on the YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.